851, turn right, heading 180. Papa, turn right 245, report localizer established. What is the folding wingtip? What does it do? Why is it on the 777X? That's all the questions I hope to shed light on. Hi, I'm DJ's Aviation, and I do hope you enjoy this video. The Boeing 777X. The aircraft is essentially the new, up-and-coming, improved classic 777. It comes in two variants, the 777-8 and 777-9, with each serving different purposes hopefully suiting airlines in different ways. I have made a video on the 777X outlining what these two variants do. If you would like to watch that video, I'll be leaving a card on the screen now. It should come up in the top right, so feel free to click on that if you want to learn more about the 777X. As the 777X is the new and improved version, it has a number of key new features, but there is one that stands out to most. And to be honest, including myself, prior to doing this research, it was actually pretty tricky to understand what it did, and that is the folding wingtips which we're going to be discussing today. This folding wingtip is something that, while has been seen before on other aircraft, like in the naval aviation sector, it hasn't really been shown on passenger aircraft, especially in modern aviation times. So what does the folding wingtip allow? Well, through Boeing implementing a folding wingtip, it will mean the 777X will have an extra 7 meters of wingspan while in flight. And 7 meters is quite a lot when you think about it. But Boeing have come prepared. When the aircraft is on the ground, these extra 7 meters of wings or wingtip will fold up, resulting in what you may ask. Well, with the wingtips now in the ground setting, the aircraft will still be able to fit in the exact same parking space as a classic 777-300. And while it might not seem like a big deal, this would cost airports millions if they had to redo their gates. Honestly, you just need to take a look at the A380. The aircraft was so wide that airports had to redo multiple gates to try and fit it in, and that cost millions. When the wingtips are folded upright, the plane becomes the exact same width as its competitor, the A350-1000, and this is around 64 to 65 meters, meaning during flight, the 777X will have a wingspan of 71 meters. The wings are based on those of the 787 Dreamliner, and that's probably why they look a little familiar. And Boeing have said, through implementing the same design as the 787, it'll be the largest and most efficient twin-engine jet in the world. And this really answers the why was it placed on the 777X question. Through doing so, it makes the 777X even more efficient, and is still the same size as the original 777-300 at the gate. It'll also make the aircraft more fuel efficient. The managing director and CTO at Aerospace Transportation, SAS, said, We fold 7 meters exactly, 3.5 meters on each side. The aircraft is landing in a normal configuration, which in brackets is the wings fully extended and locked, with a full diameter of 71.8 meters. And then we have so-called sectors. One sector is the runway, the other sector is the taxiway. And from the runway to the taxiway, we will have a given time, likely less than 20 seconds, to fold the wings. This man pretty much explains perfectly how the process will unfold, and how long pilots will be given to complete the process. Really, the only main issue this design has is the reliability of it. If something was to go wrong, and they are stuck in the flight position, it can cause a number of delays in the airport, and worst case scenario, possibly clip planes parked at their gates, as this aircraft will taxi on the taxiways. When you're sitting in a plane, and the pilots are completing their tests, you often hear those noises from the plane when they're testing things. However, another thing Boeing took into account with these folding wingtips is that noise. So now they have noted and they are implementing this folding wingtip procedure without any noise. So you will not hear anything and it'll be a much smoother experience for the people on board. Again, this was a different video. I just wanted to explore it. I hope you were able to learn something new. If there is something similar like this video I'm creating now that you want me to cover, feel free to drop that in the comment section and I'd be more than happy to take it into account and write it down and hopefully one day actually make a video on it. So I'd like to take the time now to thank you all very much for tuning in to either your first video or another one of my videos. I do hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Oh, well,